Oh my god. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, what the hell, Offbeat? We're in a completely different area. This isn't where your last video left off, and you would be right to think that. Because, I swear to god, this game is fucking cursed. I have... And I've, none of the things that I've uploaded give me so much trouble. This... it has... Uploads that just outright fail. It... More frequently than anything that I've ever even attempted at this point. And... On top of that... Yesterday morning... After getting a good 40-ish minutes of footage... I was on my way to go try to fight this guy... Because I wanted to, you know, just do that real quick and that would be the end of the video. The game decided... It would be a great idea to, whilst I was fast traveling to this safe house, crash. Not just crash, but delete everything I recorded in the process. So I'm gonna go fucking blow this guy up, and then we're gonna progress. You know, like the progress that you ended up having to miss due to these shenanigans. I don't even really know what it detected me just now, but all right. I just, I just, I just want to blow him up. I just want to kill him. He just needs to die. See, I had wanted that to be a much more intricate and drawn-out fight, but... Oh boy, I'm sure many of you understand my patience is starting to run very thin with this game. Hi, dude. Did just Naruto run your way up here? a whole lot of those guys. Got myself a whole lot of assault rifle ammo. As you can see down there, like, I was making so much good progress and then everything just got fucked. I don't know, maybe I should have let that guy live a bit longer, because it seemed like when the other two made it to uh, level 2 rivals, they dropped good shit. I would assume the higher level he is, the better his stuff. But at the same time, I just wanted him to die. Okay, escaped combat. Yeah. Like, this game is literally driving me up a wall. It's ridiculous how complicated it is just to do this shit. Especially considering that everything else has worked out so much better. Who the fuck is chasing me? Whatever you are out there, I doubt you actually know where I am or what I'm doing. Alright. So let's go actually do an objective now. I 
guess we could go here and head either northeast or northwest. I, I don't even know anymore. The level of done I am experiencing with this game, I'm just, I'm spent, and I just started. <laughs> oh, shit. Journey to the Savage Planet actually releases in, actually in like a few days, I think it's next Tuesday. And I will likely be starting a series with that, and hopefully that will be more entertaining than this. I had wanted to do a series with Moons of Madness, but apparently that's no longer getting a console release, because they cancelled my pre-order. And that's a bit upsetting, because I was very interested in that. So, you know, I would be playing Moons of Madness right now, but... Apparently that all went all just full of fucking belly up, so fucking more. Generation Zero. And I know what you're probably thinking, like, hey, if you hate it so much, why didn't you just quit? You did that with Homefront, and uh, honestly, I'm thinking about it. But at the same time, it's like, there's so much here that sometimes I actually do have fun. But at the same time, the game loves to just dick slap you right in the face. Oh, there's a safe house out here. Though ultimately, ever since I've gotten this assault rifle, the game has, to some extent, gotten a lot easier. Which just goes to show that the gear you have does everything. Divic! Oh, shit. Gotta kill some robots. And I am stuck. Sniper ammo just doesn't exist anymore, apparently, by the way. Like, I have not gotten any more sniper ammo in literal days. Touch your butt! Touch your butt! to an actual 9mm though. It doesn't change the fact that I can't fucking aim, but... Got one. Fuck. You got me. If I just ran inside, then when I killed enough, it would be on my safe house, I could have just respawned here and then just kept fighting. But, you know, I decided to be an idiot. This, this game has... it's worn me out to some extent that I never thought possible. 
and like I was saying previously, and it's like a lot of people were like, oh shit, the game, it's just, it's, it's impossible when you're by yourself, but at the same time, keep in mind, two people, unless if, unless if our loot is separate and we both get our own shit, two people having to split this ammo would be so fucking annoying. Yeah, because I would love to share all my zero sniper rounds. Like, it's it's become difficult as hell to supply the sniper rifle or the shotgun. And splitting zero doesn't really work. So yeah, you know, like, sure, I got plenty of assault rifles. Like, if, if we had two assault rifles, yeah, sure, that'd be perfect, that'd be wonderful, like, we would be able to gun stuff down. But, each assault rifle, I'm assuming they can have st extended mags, each assault rifle standard magazine size is 20. If I cut my 200 rounds in half, we both get 100 bullets, that's only 5 clips. And, in full auto, that's that's gone in, like, no time. takes a full magazine to kill a hunter. That's 20 bullets right there. So as much as I think that, yeah, sure, this game could totally be more doable with two people, at the same time it would be much harder. Would it be more fun with two people? Maybe. I'm sure we could, you know, pick each other up, like in Outward or pretty much any other kind of co-op situation, which would make things a bit easier. Because then I wouldn't have to use an adrenaline shot to get back up. I wouldn't be respawning back at bases so frequently, but... If I don't have the ammo, is it even really going to work? That's an ironic thing for me to see as I'm complaining so much. It's all part of the game. I mean, I, 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 I've aired my grievances. I think I'm better now. <clears throat> For the record, I don't think it's fair that you could shoot already backwards. Where's the exit? Okay. Alright, just like that. Made it to a new base. Uh, that thing just takes up a lot of space without any bullets for it, so I'm going to put that in storage.
looking for wow that's way up there I still need to can get more levels and stuff so I probably should do as many side quests as I can to make this game a bit more manageable lightning up ahead. Or at least I will get what I came for.
So did I find a nearby bunker? Oh, I guess it's just because I got so close to this place. first. Yeah, maybe this time I moved on to a new region. Maybe then I could find some better guns. <clears throat> Fuck you. Come investigate. Your friend's dead. Weird, right? Well, that was a terrible fucking recoil. Yeah, I thought I shot that off. Thank you. Hey, where's your dead friend? He's dead. Can I cross here or is this too deep? I can cross here. Ooh, there's a safe house close by. Cool. My first plot of land in the new world. Finally, things are looking up. Seems to be underneath me. Interesting. I mean, this seems to be in working order, right? Just take this and fucking leave. Go someplace where there's no deadly robots. I don't care if I don't have a pilot's life, my chances of survival are still better than here. Do 
the ejector seats come with parachutes equipped, or is that something that the pilot has to actually wear? Because, I mean, there's always the opportunity otherwise to just kind of get where you need to go and eject. Don't really need to know how to fly to do that, right? Oh, I wandered into another region. I probably should head more west. I mean, I gotta give credit where credit is due, though. When it rains in this game, the touch-up of puddles and the muddy road and everything, it looks nice. Like, it looks real. It looks good. Because, like, it's a dirt road, so it's not going to be completely flooded, but there will definitely be sub segments where it gives way more than others, and that creates the puddles. town. Well, the water gets kind of choppy, but the water doesn't really look all that great to begin with, so I can, I can forgive it for that one. I can't, however, forgive it for that. Hip-hop jacket, huh? The fuck does that mean? Pretty sure that you wouldn't transport soda in a shipping container. Just gonna throw that out there. I mean, I'm sure it's easy just to copy paste that onto trucks in different colors, but come on, that's a little lazy. Then again, I don't know, this is supposed to be Sweden, maybe they do things different. Shut myself in the bathroom. don't need the gun I already have. Asshole.
boombox. Oh, is that a fucking Lonely Island reference? A boombox is not a toy. I love that song. The song's amazing. It's hilarious. Because a boombox is way too powerful. A boombox can change the world, but you gotta know your limits with a boombox. It's a cautionary tale, because a boombox is not a toy. Like, that is amazing. Well, how oddly convenient that I also have a main quest that wants me to go find that bunker, so... Okay. Another safe house. Probably should heal up at least once. Doesn't do me really much good if I die before I make it. How is this a safe house? There's nothing safe about this. This is just a fucking campsite. Still only got the one bike, huh? Like, is that even something I can unlock more of? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here before I risk losing more of my fucking sanity and or footage. So, thanks for sticking with me during my rants. And we're going to make it here in this, this place, I think.